my brothers. I don't believe that I didn't mean to kill Zeke. That is why I cannot leave. I have to leave, Ivan. With Helga gone, there's nothing left for me here. This world no longer interests me. That's why I will submit myself to the will of the gods. Do not worry. I've given him the means to guide himself. We do not want him to be lost. Thank you, Ivor. You cannot leave him in charge of the great army. I told you this is none of my concern. I plan to return to the Mediterranean. With Halfdan. We've always had the same dream. It's your dream. To travel into the ends of the known world. That's enough for me. We Lagertha. I bring wonderful news. Both King Ayla and King Egbert are dead. But not before King Egbert gave us a great gift of land. Before he sent his family away, King Egbert renounced his crown in favor of his son, Prince Ethelwolf. Then Ethelwolf is king. And the grant of land worthless. Tell me why you freely come here. King Harold, perhaps you wanted to find out how well Ego the Bastard had served you. Perhaps I did. <laughs> I'm happy to die. Strike! Strike! I've heard of a town called York. We can build an impregnable fortress. I agree with Ivor. We should go north. It's like York. Your Grace, we know where the Northmen are. They're at York. They captured the town with great slaughter. We must carry York. Your people need you. How do you know? My father told me. Most noble king. My lord bishop. We've heard many reports of your prowess with arms and of your personal sanctity. My wife, Judith. Noble lady. My father, thank you for the senior. Give me a skull! King Harold and his men, their boats have gone. Where's Astrid? Lagitha's years are numbered as Queen of Kattegat. I still intend to become king of all Norway. I need a queen. Astrid will never be part of someone else's plan. I am old enough to know that you can never say for sure what someone else will do. You two have to understand that it is harder for me to stake my claim. I have to make you forget that I'm a cripple. There's a large Saxon force on its way here. But I thought you'd already know that. The Northmen have been reinforcing the defenses of the town. My scouts reported something interesting. Apparently, they have felt unable or unwilling to repair the old Roman walls that are still standing. They remain unguarded. Let our armies be combined. When all that is done, we shall attack. This is your kingdom. I don't like the look of it. And yet, this is your new home. <laughs> Good use. Oh. The Northmen have not secured the Roman walls of the town. They remain undefended. That's where we enter. Black lambs to the start. Where we are going, it will be much better to appear as traitors rather than raiders. You should send most of your fleet home. But I will feel naked. Better naked than dead. We have defeated the Saxons. It is time to negotiate. So we'll make peace. It will be the land of God. I would hmm? beware. I'm trying to negotiate with them. And now it is finally time for you to recognize me as the rightful leader of the Great Army. You will never, ever accept that. It's okay now. We'll go back to Katiga tomorrow with our forces. Nobody is with you! Everyone is with me! You see? Everyone is with me. I had a vision. I saw all the dead bodies of the wicked lying in the street of the great city. Close all roads to York. 
Trap them, starve them, force them to surrender. Let us make a pact. I will support you against Arthur and Fitzak if you agree to support me against King Harold. Skull. Skull. I want to go to Rome. The Roman Empire is no more. Then if not Rome, then where? Sicily. Commander Euphemius wants you to be his bodyguards. Tell him we agree. Our father. I can find the hooks. If we had ex killed for a after till he mannana, or pioda things and ega pay the hook, or retta true at filka mer hinka, in stadro sir gather of oaken mannum of gav goodum fera. Nothing is as it seems. Commander Euphemius isn't really the commander here after all. The Emir of Ophelia in Kyoran agreed to invade the island on Euphemius' behalf. Where's Kyra? In Africa. I have made up my mind. I agree to marry you. Perhaps my luck has finally changed. <laughs> the Saxons are in their own country. They can be reinforced and grow stronger. Did you really think that I didn't have a plan? I'm a cripple. That's an idiot. The Northmen, the ships, they're all gone. I found something out. It's her okay. The Romans were very clever. Why are the rats above ground? I agree to marry you. Then we call upon the gods to bless this marriage. You must kill Nakatha, and you must be crowned king of Kattegat. King Harald has an ambition of invading Kattegat. We should make an alliance and work with him. You are coming on a journey with us. I am already on a journey. Why did you come back here, Floki? The last thing I need is for someone to take away my best warriors. I forbid you. There are many things you do not understand about how the world works here. We should return to the boats. We are in the greatest danger. There's a storm coming. You and your warriors will support me when I attack Kateka. Let us say that we will attack in two moons time. I agree. Loki, where is this good land you promised us? Just a few more days. Bishop, you have a choice. Fight alongside me, or I will kill you. I think you will fight with us! I decided to go into the monastery at Lindisfarne. I need to follow in my father's footsteps. I want you to deliver a message to someone in Kattegat. Can you make it worth my wife? Oh. Ifa the Bones has joined with King Harold. We must decide whether to wait here for the attack. This is going to rip my father's legacy apart. It will tear our world apart. King Harold and your brother Ivar are planning to attack us. Well, it seems I have returned just in time. We need even more help. That is why I invited the Sami to join us. That Yamanaida Snaifrit. Princess? I can see she interests you. I'm not jealous. I will always take care of you and the children. Sweet girl. I want to marry your daughter. Very well. If she wants to. I told my father I was going to marry you the moment I saw you. This was my dream. That we would create a new kind of world. In which everyone is equal. But who will rule us? We will rule ourselves. <laughs> I don't believe you, Floki. You want to be king. Ivar and Harold are coming. Let them overthrow her. If they kill Brian, then you will be king of Kattegat. And I will be queen. What an amazing outcome for a slave. Where shall we meet them? They would expect us to defend Kattegat by a seaborne attack. Do they frighten you? Your brothers? No. Maybe prepared. Just a little. In my experience, Ivan never does what you expect him to do. Where will you fight? Maybe you can help me think of a strategy. The end of our world is here. We have food to eat, water to drink. We also need to build a temple to the gods who have been so good to us. Why should we build a temple before our own houses? If you don't like it here, Avian, you can always try and sail back. No, Floki. None of us can ever go back. We have to build ships. We have to build a navy to prevent these incursions and attacks. You should talk to your father. But he is not my father. My son! My father is dead. I have a feeling that Bjorn is playing a game. 
What should we do? I'll pull back a third of our army. We should send Bitzer with some men into the woods. Go back! They need us. It's too late. Where's Heckman? Your Christian's dead. Who is this? He's a Saxon priest. <coughs> Go. Save him. Why? Don't know why. For the sake of our father's legacy and everything he believed in, do not put our people's lives at risk. If Ivar wins, Ragnar's dreams are lost. I must avenge my mother's murder. Uncle Rolla once told me that if I ever needed her support, all I had to do was ask. You are sure they were Frankish soldiers? Yes, I am sure. And there are lots of them. I will fight for you, Agatha. I will die for you. My sword is at your service. Our land and our faith are together in the greatest peril. Once, they would sting us and quickly leave them. But now, they stay! Tomorrow, we will discuss the best ways of dealing with this threat. We must make plans. Don't weep for me. The angels are already here. The Witten will reconvene tomorrow. They must select a new king. They will offer you the throne. I say, let us elect Edelred as our king! I will accept. No. You will refuse the crown. These times demand a different kind of ruler. I must decline the honor. I do nominate my brother Alfred to be king. Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! Long live the king! I have watched David from the start. He wants us all to fall into violence and chaos. We mustn't give him that satisfaction. The Destiny is on fire! Thor is burning! Burning the gods! You've gone too far, Poole. I'm sorry you jumped ship. I know you've regretted it ever since. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> I owe my brother so much, but I owe you far more. And if I have to die today, I'm ready for Valhalla. I didn't want to kill you, brother. <sighs> See you in Valhalla. Astrid, yes, stop. I don't want to kill you. I have to die. I cannot have this child. Child? Ah. It's done. If I live too well, sweet Astrid. I will make you all give her here, but only on one condition. Don't think of revenging the death of your son. Shut your flat nose. Your son Thorgrim is dead. You will set in motion a cycle of killing that will never end. We have failed the gods. We must offer a sacrifice. It will give us a second chance. I offer myself as that sacrifice. They are dying. Soon they will all be dead. I have seen it. This one is dead. You think I'm mad? I don't think anything. I know. And what is the problem with that? Gather your things, we must leave Kat again. Perhaps the mad will inherit the earth. If I ever needed her support, all I had to do was ask. We will look at the gods! I am I for the boneless! All hail your new king! King Haifa. King Harald. Your Highness. Rollo. Welcome back to Kattegat. There's someone else who's still alive. 
the woman that I've sworn by my sacred dream to kill. You mean Lagatha? We have scouts looking for them. We will find them before too long. I refuse to accept that this is the end of my story. To be captured, humiliated, and... There must be something we can do somewhere we can go. Where? Where, Uber? We could go to England. Hmm. Where well, they will kill us. Not necessarily. I will intercede on your behalf with King Aethelwulf. He will almost certainly welcome you. We are still gravely threatened by the incursions of the Northmen. They are raiding in Scotland, in Ireland, and all over England. We must quickly assemble an army to defeat them. And I appoint my brother, Prince Aethelred, to command them. And may God help us. Why have you come here, Ola? To try to save your life. And beyond life. How can you do that? I will give you safe passage back to Frankia. You know I have always loved you, Lagatha. And that beyond is my son. He is not your son. You cannot deny it to my face, can you? You may be my father, but then again, you may not. I don't want to have some lifelong battle like you had with my father. You were not important enough for me to care. But I understand that. Do not just dismiss this offer. Come back to Frank here with me. You will have everything you need, everything you ever wanted. You made your decision regarding your stance with Ivar. <laughs> he betrayed my father. You nearly died because of him, Lagatha. Because of his treachery. And then, he betrays us for a second time with Ivar. If I kill Rora, then I will die a happy man. <laughs> Leave him! If you want to kill me, kill me. Ha! What you said, didn't you? What I said? That you would protect us, not feed us to the wolves. Why would I lie to you? Because you are back in England. Because it makes everything different. I just wonder. Why would I betray you? I love you. It's your Bishop Hackman! Show us, me. We will have harmed you more. We do the father. Cooning at the wolf. Don't have to hurt. At the wolf, cooning. Me, father. Death. Don't know what whale is. West Saxon. Me, brother. Alfred Cooning. We sailed into a trap. Look at us! Bishop Hakeman has betrayed us. He has lived among pagans. Do you suppose he has changed? I still cannot believe that he has betrayed us. Why have they come here? I offer them safe passage. I'm not foolish enough not to recognize your potential for my kingdom. If you were willing to fight with us against the armies of your countrymen. On the condition 
that you allow us to settle in the part of East Anglia King Akput gave to us. I have every intention of honoring my grandfather's pledges. But first, you must demonstrate your worth and your loyalty to our cause in battle. We have a legal right to that land. We accept your offer. Can I trust them? You can trust Lagatha. My dear people, I have chosen this woman to be my new wife. Her name is Fretis, and soon you will all know her as your new queen of Kateka. This is all about the kingship. He takes a wife, produces an heir. Kataka is his forever. He can't produce children. By your blood, I will bear you a child. A son. <laughs> I am with a child. With your child, Ivar. If you kill Ifa, then I will be queen. She's insane. She's going to kill all of us. I'm not mad. No, 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 you're not mad. Don't worry, Ivor. Sleep, sweet Margaret. She won't kill you. Who are you? <laughs> you told us that you would honor King Edward's pledges. I said you would have to prove your value to us first. We have the legal right here, signed by King Eckbert. My grandfather had no authority to grant you any land. He had already relinquished the throne to my father, who was crowned here a few days before you arrived. So it was all just a lie. Your brother Bjorn has set his heart against me. He feels betrayed. It is not easy for me to grant you those lands again. Many are against it. So what are we supposed to do? A concilium publicly renounce your pagan gods and be baptized as a Christian. I can't imagine Bjorn would ever agree to that. I'm not talking about Bjorn, but about you. What good can I do for these people? I've tried so hard to make them see. No crop! Nothing to eat. We won't survive this winter. Why don't you show yourselves to me as you used to? The gods are not here. They're not here! I wish to be Bishop Herkman of Sherbin once more. Because we thought you were dead, the king felt obliged to appoint a replacement as bishop. Your noble friend, Lord Cuthred. I cannot help but think your ambitions are more worldly and less sacred. Hakeman, you're not exactly a saint yourself. The Lord knows my struggles. I struggle with the devil in the desert as our Lord did. But at least my struggles are spiritual. I'm Sherbin's true bishop, not you. And you saw them kissing, and then fornicating together? Yes, Your Grace. He was a man who could never control his passions. And now his passions will destroy him. But first, for the love I owe him, I will write him. To my Lord Hakeman, brother in Christ. He can never again be prince of the church. Rather than observe your vows of celibacy, you fornicate with a pagan woman. And your king and master must learn the truth. You are a most troublesome priest. This is how the world will end. No, just your world. In nomine patri et fili et spiritus sancti. Amen. In all of this world, there can be no justification for murdering a servant of God. I killed Cuthred because he and the other bishops, clergy, and several of your leading aldermen formed a conspiracy to overthrow you and then to assassinate you. If Cuthred was once their leader, who is their leader now? I don't know. But I'm almost certain they intended to replace Alfred with Aethelred. But whether Aethelred is part of the conspiracy or not, I have yet to discover. Hakeman shall be punished for his heinous crime. That is not your decision, brother. Alfred is doing what he thinks is best for Wessex. And we must support him, must we not? He's my brother. Of course I support him. Good. Ah, Prince Aethelred. King Harald! I would think of you in York. I left some good men in charge there. King Harald Finehair. Welcome to York. I am Jarl Olafsson. I still consider it part of my new kingdom. 
York will only be a staging post for us. I'm here to attack Wessex. After we plunder Wessex, we'll return to cut the cut. We overthrow its king. Bjorn Ironside. My name is Magnus. I'm Ragnar's son by Queen Quintrith. I heard you were here. My half-brothers, and I had to see you. We had heard Ragnar's father, the son, in Wessex. Alfred's family threw me to the wolves. And they say that you're here to support King Alfred. But how can you do that? We are at Alfred's mercy. You should be at yours. Alfred is just as guilty as his father and his grandfather for the death of our father. My lords, I've decided to restore his grace, Bishop Hegman, to the bishopric of Sherborne. We cannot, and I will not do without the greatest warrior for Christ in this kingdom. I wish also to announce my marriage to Princess Elswith of Northumbria. You will be queen to a kingdom at war. You will be married to a king who is in present danger of being overthrown and assassinated. If I were your wife, I would gladly share your dangers and tribulations. I shouldn't be here. God will punish me and help you carry the terrible burden that fate has placed upon you. My gods won't punish you. I had not expected this conversation to proceed in this manner. I would hate you ever to think me predictable. I'm a virgin. I now pronounce you man and wife. The king has asked us to be baptized in the Christian faith. That way we will no longer be supporting and harboring pagans, but we will be fellow Christians. And did you tell them that there was no way that you would renounce our gods? I renounce my belief in Odin and all other pagan gods. We have suffered the loss of two of our children, Thor and Thorgrim. So now I beg of you all one last time to please spare your axes. Our real hope lies with the child that Shetil's daughter Thorin carries in her belly. Let us drink to the new child. To the birth of a new child. Skull! She's gone. What do you mean, gone? Thorin, she's disappeared. I don't understand. She can't have disappeared. Mother told me she had gone to pray at the waterfall. <laughs> she felt her time was near. She wanted to pray to Freya for a safe delivery. She wasn't there. I shouted, I looked for her. She disappeared. You and me are descended from Odin. The fact is, Vitzirk, I am not just descended from the gods. I, for the boonless, is a god. You're crazy, Ivor. I am not crazy. I'm not. That is your mistake. I did the impossible. I am going to be a father. I am divine, and to celebrate, we will make a sacrifice dedicated to my fellow gods welcoming me into the family of the Aesir. But it must be an important sacrifice. It must be someone that the gods will have heard of, someone that all the people will have heard of, someone. Hmm. You don't know what you're saying, brother. <laughs> Bring on the sacrifice! People of Kattegat! This is the witch who murdered my mother in cold blood! Lakatha! I sacrifice her in the name of Odin and in the name of my fellow gods! You know very well that wasn't Lakatha. And you're not a god. How dare you say that I am not a god? Can't you hear? So, beating his mighty hammer, welcoming me into the hall of the Aesir! <clears throat> what am I here for? You will accomplish what others before you have failed to accomplish, but the cost will be too high. We are all going into the dark. Hello, Thor. Who was waiting for you at the waterfall? Aspian. Hey, look, his brother. Yes. He picked up a sharp stone that was ready beside him. And he struck my head with the stone. And I knew that I was dead. I have made a decision. Eivind and his entire family are expelled from the settlement. You must leave. 
and find another place. Far away from here. Winter is here. Food is scarce. We won't survive. That lies in your hands. Is this the result of your great dreams, your precious idealism? I just want you to leave. I have some news. A large Viking army is sailing into Wessex. You agreed to fight against your countrymen. Now the time has come. If you refuse, you will be killed. I will not betray you. And I will fight with you against King Harald. And what is your plan, my lord? We will call a meeting of the War Council. That is the time to strike. And then, you will be anointed and crowned. I agree. I've decided to lead the army myself. It means I'll require your support more than ever. Of course. I believe in you. And I hope you believe in me. These Vikings. That's sick. Give that sick. They are our allies and our future. I can't. Then we are lost. We must all act together. We need one another. What is it that you want from us, Magnus? How fine hair is coming here with a great army. You should join him and destroy the kingdom of Wessex. Destroying kingdoms, eh? Suddenly you're so important. I have waited a lifetime. This, this is the meaning of my life. I think we should take Magnus' story seriously. I believe he is telling the truth. I think he is lying. Uber. No. No, I do not believe that he is my father's son. I do not believe that we should betray Alfred on his word. <laughs> That's because Alfred has corrupted you. Yeah. And now you call yourself a Christian. So you are even less of a brother to me than Magnus is. I am sorry. I just don't believe your story. You cannot deny my divinity. You will tell all who ask of this good news. <laughs> I tell only what I see. That's all I ask, wise one. Tell them the truth. You are I for the boneless son of Ragnar. I am the god, Ifa. Your chariot lies as broken as your legs. A snake has settled in your skull. And your eyes betray you. Your path is strewn with garbage and filth. Oh, the horror. The horror. No! To the seer. If he's gone, we need to find him. And if somebody has tried to kill him, we need to know who and why. I know. The Lord came to me last night. He showed me a vision, a vision of hell and the damned that must endure its fires for all eternity. And I was afraid. I must renounce our love. You know something? Your soul, whatever that is meant more to you than I ever could. I don't think you ever did love me. My Lord Cunahard, you are arrested for treason. Were you part of a conspiracy to overthrow my son, <laughs> Alfred? No. I need to know, and I will know. Tell us the weight you need in gold and silver to go and leave Wessex. Come back tomorrow and I will tell you and your Christian friends what you must pay. No one has come. Of course not. They're not going to come. They were not really negotiating. Well, we have been waiting here. They have moved their entire army around our flanks and are now almost certainly positioned in the very place they had already chosen for the battlegrounds. King Harald! Why is the ground burnt? To battle! For Christ, for Wessex, and for England! Netherlands! Please! <laughs> 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 
The Pegasus! Long live the king. devils to run from the field. I knew then that the day and the battle had belonged to us! The conspiracy against you. Those who wish to overthrow and kill you. I know their names. Ethelred is their leader. I think I have found her. This is not her. My mother always carried Thor's hammer around her waist. I don't think we are going to find her. Magnus, son of Ragnar, what is to become of us now? I have faith that we should prevail. Our <sighs> gods will ultimately triumph over the Christian god. Who is a usurper. Who has no meaning. Who's not real. And one day, not so far away, the name Jesus Christ will be utterly forgotten. <laughs> no one has seen her. If she's still alive, she has vanished. Here is the treaty giving you all the lands that constitute the ancient kingdom of East Anglia. These lands I grant you in perpetuity to settle and to farm as you see fit. Look, Bjorn. Look at this treasure. That is not the end of our business today. Guards, arrest the traitors. He saved my life. He was implicated. You have... I've already decided to forgive him. If you won't... Talk to him. Please give me your permission to do so. I need to know why. So perhaps I can forgive him. Is this a god? No god. That is the Buddha. And who is the Buddha? <laughs> it seems to me that you are conflicted, Mitsu. There's no contradiction because it's possible that everything it's part of the one. You know, I've often wondered whether you weren't a little crazy. I'm crazy. Just like Margaret. You know what happened to her. What was that? No. Nelgi. Why did you travel all this way in such weather? Everyone has died. If there is so little food, then everyone is sick. I know we don't deserve to be saved, but please. Go and save my family. My father has learned a lesson. He has changed. They killed your son, and they killed your daughter. I'm going to leave the decision to you, Shet. If Helgi says his father has changed, then I believe him. Why do you want to see me? Lord Cunahad confessed everything. It's true. They wanted to stage the coup just before we left for battle. They wanted me to give the signal. I refused. And you are involved. I will never, ever betray him again. Stand aside! Out of the way! My lady, it's the king. Go and fetch the physicians. What is wrong with him? No one really knows. Then he is weak. We need to know the truth. We cannot afford a sick king. Alfred has suffered these attacks before and has always survived. You must have faith. Ethelred is very popular. Yes. What is it that you say to these men? I say to them what I have a mind to say. Don't interfere, mother. I don't belong here. I want to take her to get back from Alva. 
You have no army. King Harold has. Brother! We shall attack Kat again. All together! I have just received some very interesting news. It seems King Harold was defeated in Wessex by the new King Alfred. It seems to me that now it is time for us to return to England. Harold has learned his lesson. He cannot win without me. I don't believe you have ever accepted your brother as king. I don't think you ever would. Well, what have you done? You would always be a danger to him. So you poisoned me. What kind of mother are you? My people, can't they get this crown? We cannot allow everyone to vote on everything which affects our kingdom. We have a duty to protect it. I have a duty to protect it. So, we have to change the rules. So now it is time to find out those who threaten us, who is against us. Perhaps it is someone you know. I have been thinking that you can make yourself more useful to me. After all, you're my brother and I love you. So how could I make myself useful? You could leave Kat again. Go on a diplomatic trip to the Great Hall of King Olaf the Stout. Help him prepare for our springtime attacks on York and Wessex. And if I refuse? I'm afraid you cannot refuse. How did he die? As long as he was alive, he would do anything that promised to make him king. So? I killed one of my sons to save the other. A king must be prepared to do the most terrible things if he wants to survive. Oh, thank the gods. You have saved us. Floki was right. We have all changed. My friend. Floki, tell me what happened. What are you doing? Father. Your brother. They killed them all. This is madness! Please! No, your head, old man. The axe is coming. They wanted revenge. And they had planned it a long time. Don't be afraid. I am not afraid. What about Helgi? All of them. We need to make a plan. At this time of the year, there are many storms at sea. Ivo will not be expecting our arrival. I have no doubt that we will have safe passage. You must give the orders and start preparing your ships. You will have your ships. You're an iron side. King Harold, this is enough of you. I know. I just uh, wanted to remind you that fate has brought us together. I'm not sure I've ever been in love. And you are not in love with me? What if you love King Harold? He could make you the Queen of Norway. I suppose he could try. Do you still want to be King of all Norway? My ambition has never changed. Well then, I should like to be Queen. I'm afraid to ask you if you love me. Say it. Say it. I love you. Yes. My lord, the ships of a large Viking army have been seen in West Wales. If they continue their course, they will arrive at our borders in a matter of days. The Danes will have a thousand more warriors. I advise you make me the head of your army. I will find a way of dealing with the Danes. Otherwise, you have no hope. I should never have brought you all to this place. My name is Witzerk. Son of Ragnar Lothbrok. I've come to see King Olaf. We're meant to be allies. Your brother, Eifach, told me he would send you. 
Thora, I am trying to rule well. I use my divinity to protect you. But still you hate me. You deface my image. My brother has declared himself to be a god. He's no longer the Ivor I knew. He's a tyrant. And yet you want me to join him in raiding England? No. I've come here to ask you to attack Ivor and overthrow him as King of Cadigan. I understand. You didn't even take your daughter's grave. The man I once was would have dug this bay just deep enough into your skull to make you unconscious. And as you slowly bled out, the last thing you would see would be me raping your son. But you see, I won't do any of that. For even though you and Avon and everyone else in this cursed settlement have showed me that I can't change other human beings, I have changed myself. Do with this place as you like. I'm done with the humans. Who is that woman? Nagata. Nagata, is that you? Ekemuba! Son of Ragnar Ostruka! Tastiki Okatu! Uba, 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 You see? You're famous. Uba, 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 Uba. Of all the enemies we expected to encounter, we could hardly have imagined encountering you. I am not your enemy. Let us go and drink. Let me explain. King Alfred of Wessex has granted us a large area of land in his kingdom. What does that mean to us? If your armies are willing to give up the sword, instead of dying uselessly on the battlefield, your warriors and your shield maidens can take up the plow and the loom, and they can make a life here. There's nothing to stop you, and yet you have everything to gain. You have a son, King Ivor. I've waited for this. Did I not tell you, and did you not believe me when I said that deformity is a true sign of the God's favor? Fear go there. Fear see that he can climb here for me. I can now let me sit through me new wicker. I can far I can now help get in the mud. I can far I jump near the yard in a. I think it's some work and they have had to see that I'm fine here. It can fuck the farmer. It seems you might have to fight our way out of here. And if the odds are against us, then it will make me happy to die with you. Uba, two of us want to avail ourselves and our warriors of your offer, but uh, King Frodo refuses to agree. Then there is only one thing left to do. I take your refusal as an insult, and I challenge you to a single combat. Good. This makes me very happy, Uba Lothbrook. I thought you would make everything perfect. Because you would be like a god. The shining one. But it was only a dream. I cannot help you anymore. Because you remind me of myself. You'll have to make your own way in life, Baldur. The great god that there. Hell greener not. I know that you are good and right now. This is a fight to the death. King Frodo, if you die, your people will settle here. If Uba dies, we attack Wessex together. This is the law. I have a lump in my breast, and now I'm dying. She succeeded in her life's mission to see you become king. She went through many, many trials and tribulations for you. You have a duty now to repay her love by becoming a great king. What did 
you do for me, Freddy's. Is you really my son? Everything you ever said was a lie. Everything. Something has changed inside me. When I was fighting, I was filled with the spirit of Odin. In my heart, I called for them and they answered me. Thor and Frey. So once more, I embrace the true gods. Uba has won. The son of Ragnar has won. You know, I wanted what being a Christian could do for me. My people. Here is your land. The world that Ragnar Lothbrok promised you, and his son Uber has delivered to you. Ragnar, do you see this? This is our dream. You <laughs> I was expecting my brother Vitzer to return with King Olaf and his army. We were going to attack you all together. Unfortunately, things have changed. They are not here. Hello, Vitzer. Where are you going with such a large army? To attack Kattegat with King Olaf and with you. No! Oh, my brother! <laughs> this is one of the happiest days of my life. Fare you well, Uba. My kingdom owes you a great debt. You have proven yourself to be a good and wise King Alfred. There's no one better to lead your country forward. If it's all right with you, Uba, I want to come with you. It's time for me to go home. You will never overcome Kattegat. We will always defeat you! All these years I've questioned the gods, but now I know the reason. I know my fate. The gods are with us! We are the people! My fate is to kill Ivar. Soon we shall reach Kattegat. The once more brother will fight against brother. And the world will be wrecked. The winter of winters will grip and throttle Midgard. The wolf will seize the sun between his jaws and swallow her. People of Kattegat, we have come for Ivar. We are here to set you free. Odin and the wolf will be the first to engage. And the battle will be fearsome. Ivar! Freddy's! Someone let them in. Someone betrayed me. I let them in. He is a monster. You have to stop him. There is a secret way into the town. There's no other way they could have gotten inside the walls. Are you going to deny it? No. I let them in. So in the end, the wolf will swallow all father. I will. That will be the death of Odin. And then worlds will burn, and the gods will die. And the sun will be dark, and the earth will sink into the sea. I will. where are you? Surrender! Ragnarok, it's only a story.
And here's the sword of kings. Hail King Bjorn. King. Cut, cut. Hail King Bjorn! No one will ever forget the name of Bjorn Ironside. Greater than Ragnar. And so it has come to pass. The future foretold. But the war is not over. prepare for another attack. We shall unleash our forces against our brothers. Then we are not only fighting for ourselves, but for our gods! He died for all of us. Vikings, new season coming soon on History.